guys and welcome to my channel today's tutorial is going to be on how to draft this basic long sleeve pattern so guys i just want to thank you for the love on my previous videos thank you thank you guys so much if you are new to my channel i say welcome please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post new videos and if you're an old subscriber i say welcome back if you're measuring for an elbow length sleeve i would advise that your hand be in the straight position and you measure your elbow length from shoulder to your elbow and then your elbow circumference as well but if you're measuring a three quarter or a long sleeve please measure from your shoulder to that point with your elbow bent this way and also measure your elbow circumference as well the reason that is is such that it will accommodate your elbow when you flex your elbow so these are my measurements we have our sleeve length armhole circumference bicep or upper arm circumference our elbow length our elbow circumference and our wrist circumference so guys these are the measurements i'm going to be working with i've gotten my pattern paper i've gotten my tape roll my scissors my marker pens my straight rulers and my pattern master i'm going to draw a line parallel to the edge of my pattern paper please ensure that your lines are straight such that you don't have a bent pattern so from that point i'm going to mark a point and then I'm going to label that part the top. Where I have marked that point, now I'm going to draw a straight line down or a straight line up. So if this line is not enough, please make sure to extend the line such that it is your sleeve length or more than your sleeve length. That is exactly what I'm going to do. So once I'm done extending this line, what I'm going to do now is calculate for our cap's height. Our cap height is one third of armhole circumference my armhole circumference is 17 so 17 divided by 3 is 5.67 but because i cannot mark 5.67 right there i go in between 5.5 and 5.75 so i'm going to go ahead and also measure uh, mark my elbow length the length of my elbow which is 14 so after my elbow i'm going to mark the length of my sleeve which is 23 and that is where my wrist is going to be so i'm going to mark this point and the next thing we're going to do is square these lines across and what i mean by squaring across is drawing a line across this point and i ensure that they are parallel to each other i do this for my wrist or my sleeve length i do this for my elbow and then i'm going to do this for the bottom of the caps height which is where we're going to be measuring our bicep or be marking our bicep circumference once i'm done with this now we're going to do that my bicep circumference is 12.5 so 12.5 divided by 2 is 6.25 so we're going to be placing 6.25 in the middle and mark 0 and then 12 or 12.5 after this i go to my elbow i do the same thing my elbow circumference is 11.5 11.5 divided by 2 is 5.75 so i place 5.75 in the middle and mark both ends 0 and 11.5 i do the same thing for my wrist as well my wrist circumference is 9 so i place 4.5 in the middle because 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 and then i mark both ends after that i'm going to join the points from my elbow down and then all the way to my, where my bicep circumference is you may notice that this is not straight this measurement was taken when my elbow was flexed such that it will accommodate my elbow when i bend my arm after wearing my garment of course once we are done with this we go ahead and work on our caps height so what we are going to do here is draw a diagonal line from the top of our sleeve all the way to the end of our bicep circumference and we're going to do this on both sides what we're going to do next is label our pattern and we're going to label one side the front and the other side the back piece is important that you do this so we're going to start with the front part now and what we're going to do is measure from the top all the way to that end and i have 8.5 and we're going to be dividing the front part of the diagonal line into four so 8.5 divided by 2 is 4.25 and 4.25 divided by 2 is 2.125 so i'm going to mark that on both sides of the half of 4.25 for each um line there you have 
2.125, and 2.125. So for the back, I do the same thing. I measure it. I have 8.5 and we're going to be dividing this into three. Because I don't want to approximate after I use a calculator, I just used my tape rule, folded it into three, and then we're going to be marking the points right there on the pattern. So the folded edge, that's where we're going to mark. Once I'm done with this now, I'm going to go back to the front. And what we're going to do is extend the first one quarter by two centimeters outwards and then draw a straight line. We'll extend the last one quarter by one centimeter inwards and that's what we're going to do so for the back. What we're going to do is extend the first one toward 1.5 centimeters outwards and then the last one toward we're going to divide that into two. So I measure it 2.75, fold my tape rule into two and then I'm going to mark the folded edge. And after this, what we're going to do is mark 0 0.75 centimeters inwards. Once I'm done marking, I'm going to get my pattern master and use that to create the curve. This actually helped me to, you know, create my curve really well. And I made sure at least three points were um, joining before I was able to create the curve. So if you don't have a pattern master, please, what are you doing? This is a very, very important um, sewing tool that you need. So I'm just going to draw a curve all the way down. You see how joint, how, um, it is joining and then I also cover out the, pot, the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing for the back as well. Please ensure that sharp edges are curved appropriately. I do the same thing for the back. I take my pattern master, place it right there such that three points connect at least from the top all the way to the uh, last um, marking, the 0 0.75 centimeters inwards that I did. And then I'm just going to, you know, finish up with my armhole curve. So guys, this is basically how I was able to achieve the sleeve head. It is very, very easy. I'm going to add a allowance of 0 0.5 inches. And you can use your free hand to do this. If you're not satisfied with that, you can go ahead and use a pattern master. But you actually need to be careful when doing this and double check to ensure that you have 0 0.5 five centimeters all around your sleeve head. Once we are done with the sleeve head, I'm going to go ahead and add a 0 0.5 centimeters to all the side, to all the sides and then to the bottom as well. I joined the points and after joining, we're going to cut out the, the sleeve pattern. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this tutorial. As you can see, it's actually very simple. So for the bottom, please don't just follow the slant, draw it straight down. So that by the time you fold, it will align properly. Right now, we're cutting the pattern. We are done already. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you. I hope after watching this, you'll be able to make your basic sleeve pattern. So guys, this is how it looks. You can see the bend right there at the elbow, like I said, so that I could accommodate my elbow when I flex my arm. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your sewing mates, to your friends. And I'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.